How's the view? That's Lake Argyle, Australia's biggest body of fresh water. And if you think this is a pretty good spot for a swim, I think I can go one better. We may have to share the pool though. Entry fee to this pool includes the Lake Argyle Sunset Explorer Cruise. A treat today, our guide is Charlie Sharp. He runs this tour company and lives and breathes Lake Argyle and knows more than just the stats of this amazing feat of engineering. That pool up there, that was my backyard as a boy. So you've been here just a few years then? Yeah, 45 years at Lake Argyle and uh, been here since the Lake First Field in 1973. To get out amongst Lake Argyle, growing up as kids we spend every day out there and to, to take people out and show them what they can experience and what Lake Argyle really is, is, is something we want to do. And the Kimberley Durack is perfect for this three and a half hour cruise. And as she pulls away from the one public boat ramp on Lake Argyle, everyone has a great view. Charlie keeps up a running commentary as we move out into the lake. We see where the rocks were quarried to make the dam wall, which stands 90 metres tall and is 300 metres wide at the base. And the story of how the dam was constructed is just part of this tour because Charlie turns facts into things his passengers can really relate to. Sydney Harbour supports about four and a half million people. Lake Argyle is 21 times that big at the moment. We've got 45 people, it's great. <laughs> Along the way, there's the history of the pioneers of the Kimberley, some of which is now deep beneath these waters. And there's the natural landscape to talk about as well. Now it's not only great for irrigation, it's also created an amazing, unique ecosystem. It's been here for 45 years now and it's developed into a very, very unique habitat for a lot of animals. And how we didn't see these guys earlier, I'll never know, especially when there are over 20,000 freshwater crocodiles in Lake Argyle. Fish are fed from the boat, silver cobbler and archer fish so close you could reach out and catch them. Obviously a pastime Charlie loves. It gets to a stage you start throwing a hook over no bait and you still keep catching fish. So if you can't catch a fish in Lake Argyle, you shouldn't be fishing. At this point, you could be mistaken for thinking you'd covered a fair part of the lake. So it comes as a bit of a surprise when Charlie points out where we've actually travelled so far. We're now sitting about here. We're now going to turn around and go home. And like Charlie says, a bit too much for today. But not before the ultimate Argyle sunset experience teamed with a bit of Kimberley innovation. It's time to break out the bathers for the second swim of the day. Pool noodles, gentle paddling in the floating bar to the rear. The more energetic, off the roof. What a civilised way to enjoy a great Kimberley sunset. And do you know what, I have a feeling that this pool will never ever get crowded. And it's got drinks, and it's got nibbles. And I have a feeling I may be hogging the bar at that point. Guys, do you want a drink? <laughs> you can see why this is not just Charlie's, but a lot of people's favourite way to get to know this part of WA. If you want to travel this amazing body of water and enjoy one of the most quirky sunset sundowners ever, give the Kununurra Visitor Centre a call and ask for the Argyle Sunset Explorer Cruise.